Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am looking at VTuber Unity. What is this? Well, similar to the last episode where I was taking a 2D character, this time it's a Unity 3D character and Python deep learning algorithms so that you can stream as a VTuber. Ooh, okay, let's scroll down a bit then, see what we've got in here. So this is part of the Open VTuber project, awesome. And we've got some head pose estimation, some face alignment, and some gaze tracking in there as well, which doesn't actually do anything on this particular model. But hey, that's another thing. And we've also got a virtual character from Unity Chan as well. There's Unity Chan website, link there. Looks like lots of things you can download, certainly if you understand the language. Anyway, what are you going to need for this installation? Well, you're going to need an operating system. I'm using Ubuntu 2004, but it looks like 16 and 18 work as well, or Windows or Mac OS. Optional but recommended, a powerful NVIDIA GPU. And this has been tested with CUDA 9, CUDA 10 and 10.1, but I'm using CUDA 11 and that works just fine. You are, of course, also going to need Python, as always. Anaconda is very much recommended for both operating systems and mandatory, indeed, they mentioned there for Windows. Now, what I'm going to do basically is the Windows install instructions on Linux, primarily because this ONX, ONNX runtime GPU uh, currently only has binaries for 10.1, uh, and if you want uh, CUDA 11, you're going to have to compile that yourself, and I simply can't be bothered. So I'm just going to be using PyTorch. You've probably seen this before, again, yes, so yeah, pip install, <laughs> pip install or conda install PyTorch. Torch Vision, Torch Audio, CUDA Toolkit equals 11. If you're not sure, you can go over to the PyTorch website. You can scroll down there. Which version do you have? 9.2, 10, 10.2, 11, and are you using Pip or Conda? There you go. I'm using Conda, of course, so I'm using that one. But yes, PyTorch website if you're not sure how to install PyTorch. Now, they do say here PyTorch has to be equal to version 1.2.0. Uh, but that's absolutely fine. Um, it works with the very latest 1.7 because um, I've, I've tested it, so I know that. Awesome stuff. Um, now, again, on Windows, you can probably install the ONNX runtime if you've got one of the older cards, like a 1080, uh, but on a 3070, 3080, or 3090, you will need the new PyTorch and the CUDA Toolkit 11. So that's awesome. Now, the other thing you're gonna need are some binaries, which they also provide here. So if you scroll down a little bit, they got this model download and you need to download the models here. So they got that little link there. So let's pop over to that little link. Now there's a bunch of things in here. Now you've got two Unity executables. That's the Linux x84 and the Windows, <laughs> sorry, x86-64 and uh, x86-64 for Windows. So Linux and Windows, those are the two uh, Unity binaries, so you'll need to download one of those depending on which operating system you've got. Uh, there is the Unity Chan project there as well, so uh, that you can load into Unity, and there the models.zip. Now you only need the models.zip if you are using that uh, ONNX runtime. I'm not, uh, so this Python, uh, Python demo.py uh, minus minus debug actually downloads that for you. So um, let, let's run that now. Uh, there are a couple of options that you've got with this. One of the ones I'm using is minus minus cam uh, because my video device isn't on dev video zero, it's on dev video four. So that's very handy. Right, so let's have a look at this in debug mode and I should get something a little bit like this. Yes, there we go. There we go. Mum, I've, I've, I've got a box on my face. How do I get the box off? I've got the box off. Anyway, that's the demo. So there you go. You get a box on your face and it, you know, moves your mouth and it chucks your eyes and all that sort of stuff. But uh, what you also need to do is synchronize it with the virtual character. So remember that Unity binary you downloaded? Yep, yep, awesome. Okay, so if you run that, I am obviously running the Linux one and you'll get this little Unity window and a little Unity Chan there. Hello, Unity Chan. Right, okay. So now you can run the very same thing again, but with rather than minus minus debug, you're looking at minus minus connect there we go and then that will connect you to the face i'm including the minus minus debug as well this time um just so you can see my face there we go okay so there and uh, i can move left i can move right i can move round. i can tilt my head i can oh sing i can do a little smile mm, little smile okay so there you go absolutely fine everything's working brilliantly sort of sort of i did have to do a few things to uh to make that uh 
make that work perfectly though. So let's scroll down and we will have a little look at some of the things. So as it mentions there, using gaze tracking, uh, it doesn't actually work because um, it, they didn't find a way to move the energy chain eyes. I don't think there's a there's rigging in the model or some such. Um, and they also mentioned the eye aspect ratio and the mouth aspect ratio. Now that's one of the things I had to, uh, to play around with. So, uh, and the other thing I had to play around with was pitch. So when I first started, the head was always pointing downwards because this, this value was down there at, uh, at minus 15. So I always had to tilt my head up really high to get the character's head to uh, actually pose properly. So uh, yes, I changed that minus 15 there. That used to be a minus 15 to a plus 10 and that was about right uh, for my camera angle and my head. Um, the other thing was over in misc.py, uh, I had to change the mouth distance there as well. Because uh, as you saw when I was smiling, when I, when I smile, the mouth opens wide uh, and the eyes close. Uh, so it was flicking a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that just didn't look right. So I just uh, just added a, a little bit of reduction in there so it wasn't quite as, uh, as powerful. And uh, yeah, and, and then that worked. So that's absolutely awesome. Now, if we, uh, if we flip over to, uh, to Unity, so we've got the uh, Unity hub here. There's the test Unity Chan, which you can download again. So if you open up that in Unity, you will see exactly what is going on. If you want to make changes yourself, put your own model in and all that sort of fancy stuff. So there you go. So we see we've got a camera which points directly at the upper half of that 3D model. And there we go. We've got all your Unity stuff in there. A quick look in the, the game view. So there it is. As you can see, the arms are outstretched there. But when the, the model plays up, the arms do drop down. So if you're a Unity whiz and you know all about that sort of stuff, then I'm sure you'll find it incredibly easy to put your own character in there. I, however, know absolutely nothing about Unity whatsoever. So uh, yes, um, I, I can't do that. Anyway, there you go. VTuber Unity, fairly quick and easy. Lots and lots of fun. Do enjoy. Rodent out.